Okay, it's kind of harder to explain, but uh, part of my adventure game, um, I have epilepsy myself and I get seizures, but one part of this game I wanted it to kind of simulate what it's like to have a seizure if you have that kind of condition. Um, so I try to figure out a way to depict having your world blur and tilt and shake. And I tried all kinds of things like blurring the bitmap and swapping it out and um, having the guy bounce around randomly. Nothing seemed to work just right, but I found, figured out a good way to do it in like three lines of code. And it looks, it looks good enough to me, but um, I'll show you how I did it. So this is just the guy walking back and forth. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is add a global variable. And I will call this shake. And um, I want to go back to my scene and memorize where the actual s the office is located because we're going to shake randomly around its starting point. And I also designed the background for the office to be bigger than the screen. So right now the office is located at minus 24 and minus 24 in X and Y. So now we need to randomize its position. So we're gonna first add an event. Um, the shaking can increase based on time, however your game's gonna work, um, whatever you're gonna use it for. But just for this example, we're gonna um, iterate it with a key just to show what the effect looks like. So I'm gonna search on key. When key is released, um, let's pick the W key for this. Okay. And when the key is released, we are going to increase our global variable. Let's type in global. Value of global variable and we're gonna, it already found shake, so we're gonna be adding to the value of shake, which is defaulting to zero. And we're gonna add one to it. That's basically one pixel extra. It's gonna bounce around, okay. And then we're gonna add a new event, except we're not gonna have a conditional because it's gonna be running with the frame rate of the game itself. So we're gonna act upon the office and we're gonna change its X position. And we're gonna set it to a value every time. And the value, we know it's a global variable, which is an integer. So under variables, the value of a global variable. And if we just click this bar here, it should find shake, which is fine. But we want to take the value of global, the global value, variable value of shake, and we want to randomize that value. So you just can't act upon this statement. You have to wrap it in another set of parentheses. Okay, now we can do the random function. Most functions require a separate set. And also this is gonna give us a value of, a random value of what our shake is. And then we know the image is starting at position negative 24. So every time we hit the Y, the W key, this number goes up. And we're gonna do the exact same for the Y position. Copy this, paste it. And we're setting in the Y position. Hello. Okay, there. And that is pretty much it. That's all you need. So the guy's walking along. Now I'm gonna hit the W key. I don't know if you can see that, but that is shaking randomly, X and Y, one pixel. So things are starting to look fuzzy for this guy. And actually debugging this, I almost did have a seizure. I'm hitting it twice. It's getting worse. So that's bouncing around four pixels. And it kind of adds the disorientation. You keep going until you want, but this is pretty much where I wanted to keep it. That's a whole bunch. So now the game is probably unwatchable so it, it escaped anyway that's the effect i wanted and if you wanted something like that if 
seemed like a pretty useful technique. I hope you like it, and I will post again. Thanks. Bye.